Welcome to the Player Supreme Show at ZenMac.com. I'm your host, Player Supreme. Hi, Caramba! Tonight, if you will sleep with your rifle, you will give your rifle a girl name. Because this is the only pussy you people are going to get. <laughs> Hail to the king, baby. Yes, welcome to the show, and I'm reading an email that was sent to me by Harmony, and he writes, Hello, Supreme. Little request regarding dance. That's the title. Hi, Supreme. A little bit about myself to start. I'm 28-year-old dude, half black, half Latino, and uh, thank you for acknowledging your, your black side. Uh, I understand there's a problem with some Latinos uh, acknowledging uh, their, their black or have African blood. Uh, we see that with a lot of the uh, uh, Puerto Rico, black Puerto Ricans. They won't acknowledge that they have African blood, and I applaud you for acknowledging that. He writes, I'm not a ugly mofo that scares chicks away. I personally wasn't really able to go to clubs in my time, as in I never really had the dancing game. I didn't have many hot chick friends. Well, I didn't have chicks as friends, period. They were, <laughs> they were the women I played with. He continues, which started to build unsecureness when I meet some because I never seem to be able to take them to clubs, being scared they will leave me there and grab another dude. Oh, brother, you got it bad. He writes, I was tired of that shit, and then I found you. It's been two weeks. I ended up on your page on YouTube, and all I have to say honestly is thank you. I was having problems with the clubs and how to talk and move with the chicks. Chicks. That stopped after I seen this video. And he has a link to my um, nightclub dancing or club dancing 101 video. And that was one of the first videos I did a long time ago, about five years ago. Four years, yeah, about five years ago, four years ago, somewhere in there. He continues, just seeing it only made me feel comfortable knowing that this shit is that simple. I couldn't resist putting it to the test. Called a few of my boys. We went out to a whole packed local club. To my fucking surprise, it works. Not only that, but after chicks see the way I dance, they never refuse me taking them again. It's hilarious. That part when I put my hand on her shoulder at 1.55 seconds into the movie, 1 minute 55 seconds into the show, in other words, then afterwards, take, taking her waist and getting closer automatically makes them horny on me. And yes, it does. I'm actually going to release my nightclub game book this Thursday, that's the 15th. So save your pennies up, fellas. <clears throat> uh, for the members on my site or for this special sale, it'll be $37 uh, Thursday, then it goes to $49 uh, on Friday. Coming with that, though, <clears throat> excuse me, are five of my dance lessons, my first five lessons from my dance, uh, from my dance program. So you get the first five lessons for free, and you also get some audio files of me telling you how to get laid in the nightclubs. So I'm going to tell you how to go in there, how to walk, how to stand, uh, where to touch girls, all the stuff that um, he's, he's talking about here. I'm going to show you what I did to get laid and to pull girls from the club. So he just said that, uh, you know, doing some of my techniques makes them horny. And as I said on my blog TV show, that is your only reason to go on the dance floor with a girl. It's to turn her on sexually so she wants to have sex with you. You do it right and she'll want to have sex with you. Continuing, he writes, And yes, I tested this, I tested this on over 20 girls that night. And two of them kissed my neck. And am being totally honest. I believe you, brother. Dance is a powerful tool. Women love to dance and their bodies respond to good dancers. It responds sexually to guys that can dance. He writes, people in that club after that night, I realized I owned every fucking dude in there. 
because I had the balls to get the hottest chicks that were with no one and I could see all those chicken shits lined up on the wall not making moves <laughs> yeah I remember those days uh, he writes didn't pick up pussy at my house yet it's getting there anyways that little five minute video got me f to feel good right away as I first take a woman's hand to take her to the dance floor and remove all unsureness or unsecureness shit out of me I am finally out of the hole when it comes to hip-hop R&B clubs. Good for you, brother. I know I sound a little overexcited about this. I apologize, but this never happened to me before, and this will make me get up off my ass often from now because I can move the way bitches like and am getting good at it. Thank you, Supreme. Now it's for my request regarding dancing, and I really hope you accept, assuming you know how to dance that, is reggaeton, reggae. This I cannot quite, I cannot do quite well, yet it's different at my opinion. It's really the music out there nowadays in the clubs, and since your past video help me like no others I am more confident more than confident to personally ask for help with this so I was wondering if you could make a similar five minute video with some reggaeton the one that gets the girls wet in the clubs not that fast one if you know what I mean just keep it simple you know just taking her close and have the right attitude and motion and learning how to take them the best way and feel them with that music well that's actually part of my first five uh, videos that I'm releasing to teach how to feel the beat of any music whether it's reggaeton or uh, house music or hip-hop music and the moves don't change except if you're doing like freestyling but when you're working with women it's the same stuff he writes I don't need to go all the way down to the floor and do all that funky shit and I wouldn't recommend that uh, a man shouldn't drop on his knees and pump his ass up for a girl's spank let her drop on her knees and pump her ass up and you shouldn't back your ass up to women either you know I did that in my youth it was some bitch assness when I was uh, a club dancer uh, as I matured and I saw other guys doing I realized damn these, this is some, that's some bitch assness right there so don't ever back your ass up to a woman on the dance floor let her back her ass up to you that is her proper place continuing I know feeling her ass is simple, but that's not what I'm talking about. Everyone I asked for help about this told me to basically get behind them and hump them like a fucking dog. No, there's got to be some style and art to it. This is BS and not r the real. Honest and play a response I, I wanted. This is not... This is BS and not the real honest player response I wanted. And yeah, pumping like a dog is not it because you want to turn them on. A lot of women get off on just ramming their ass up against guys' dicks just to get hard, to have some power. Okay? If you know how to use her and make her do a strip act, that's what turns her on, is a, is a man that takes control of her. I have learned this overall through 20 years in the nightclubs. When you take that control and the way I'm going to you know in my book I talk about you know how to put your hands on her, just like this brother did and all that kind of stuff and you know what to do he writes anyways I will leave you on this and I really hope you can or will reply with this raggaton reggae club tutorial I wish you the best and you are the best on YouTube your shit is straight no fucking around you say what needs to be said and we appreciate this well Harmony thank you for the uh, email and uh, my product will be out on the uh, 15th that's this coming Thursday the 15th of April 2010